are six that happen to be the six wives of Henry VIII, celebrated in the musical Six, which is at the Citadel. It runs on the Schachter stage. It first premiered on the Schachter in 2019. It's by Toby Marlowe and Lucy Moss. And I'm fortunate enough to have two of the wives of Henry VIII to sit down with me this afternoon here on Thoroughfare. First of all, thanks for taking the time for doing this. On the show this afternoon, I'm fortunate enough to have not one, but two of the wives, ex-wives of Henry VIII. <laughs> that would be Jazz Robinson. Jazz, thanks for, for doing of this. Of course, thank you for having me. And Maggie Lacasse. Yes. And uh, respectively, you play uh, Catherine of Aragon mm-hmm. and Jane Seymour. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And let's talk about six, just drilling down to the core of it. What's it about? Can you describe Yeah, well, I think people go into it thinking that it's just about Henry VIII's six wives, but it's about so much more. It's about um, reclaiming their stories. They're all queens, so it's about empowerment, friendship, fixing each other's crowns, support. And so, there's, a, you know, we were talking about this actually beforehand, and there's a lot of talk about Henry VIII kind of being pretentious mm-hmm. a youth <laughs> when he assumed the throne, mm-hmm. the Tudor throne. He was, what, 19, 18 years yes, old or something. Yeah. And he changed radically throughout mm-hmm. the course of his life. He started off as an idealist. But this really isn't his story, it's is it? It's not his no. story. It's no. our story. Her story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our story, her story. That's right. And radically different, those stories, told through music. So I'm going to bring up something that is in the minds of everybody in popular culture, and that is that because I read the synopsis and I've seen bits and pieces of Six mm-hmm. as performed on Broadway, a Tony Award-winning play, and um, it, it occurred to me there's a corollary between you know taking power um, admitting a certain amount of fragility or vulnerability, mm-hmm. yes. uh, being a woman, and the Barbie movie. Um, <laughs> yes. have, have either of you seen the movie? Yeah, just so saw it. Funny, <laughs> other, funny enough, I turned to her about, I don't know, 20 minutes, and I was like, this is sick. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. our play. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's so similar, mm. so, so much wha- of the same themes. Why do you think it's, why do you think it's like six? Well, I think these themes are very relevant and just women in general um, taking ownership and reclaiming their power has been something that's been at the forefront of our society Mm -hmm. nowadays. Yes. Um, It's about time, I think. It is. Definitely. I agree. (laughs) Just in the context of the the movie, there's also just a... Something that is even less about vindictiveness or a validation mm-hmm. in terms of a, a feminist perspective, but there's also a humanist element um, to that. Does that play through in six as well? Do these characters come off as unique individuals? Definitely yes. unique individuals. Yes. I think that's, that's the most. Yeah. You're going to see every queen is so unique um, in their own realm. Um, but there is a lot of human humanness to the queens, but um, you have to come see the show. Like we can't. Really, yeah. There's something that happens at the end yes. that we can't really say. <laughs> That's spot on. Yes. You um, can't give it away. We can't okay. give it away right <laughs> it's, now. It's just, so we're encouraging people to come see the yes, show. Yes. Uh, six on at the Citadel. So uh, just a technical thing that I'll get into because this is Broadway. Hardcore Broadway, yes. right? Broadway is—it's um, not an easy go. You gotta, you, you it's you gotta work out for you Broadway. Do. Absolutely, yeah. So how do you stay in shape to do something like six? Because it requires a lot of work, a lot it of stamina, does. physical I mean, stamina, and otherwise. Yeah, we all have our own like fitness that we Correct. upkeep. Um, some people like to do uh, cardio. Some people like to do weightlifting. So like people have their own plans that they like to stick to. Yeah. Um, But it's so much more than just fitness. Like, it's like vocal health. It's uh, mental health as well, like self-care. Yeah. So there's it all ties in together. Yeah, and you need your body to be very healthy to perform at that level, Mm -hmm. Um, both mind and body uh, connection. Um, Your vocal cords are a muscle. It's such a small little thing, and you can't really see it. It's not like a calf or anything else in your body. Um, So, for example, for me, I have a nebulizer that I use Mm -hmm. every day, every night before I go to bed. You put a little bit of saline solution, and it just hydrates the vocal cords. Um, That's my that's my hack. Um, I have a a steamer. Yeah, Uh I have a steamer. Yeah, fascinating. Um, There's um, muscle uh, release tension 
approach with physiotherapists, um, chiropractors. Yeah. Yeah. Vocal <laughs> massages Vocal are a big mas- thing yeah. as well. Like there's a lot of a lot of different things that we have to upkeep in order to be able to perform at this level. So as uh, survivors, uh, well, sort of survivors, <laughs> <laughs> as I was prepping for this interview, I was suggesting that I'm interviewing uh, two artists performing in this play who, who are not beheaded <laughs> in the end of all, so they won't be bitter coming <laughs> into the studio. Right. But walking out of the theater, what would you like people to be saying to their pals over a coffee after seeing the show or after, uh, over a stiff drink or whatever? I think just having a discussion is what we want from yeah, the show. It's absolutely. opening minds and being willing to see a different story than what we've read in the books right. all these years. Right. Would you say the play is feminist? And that's the kernel of it, or is it uh, is the entertainment factor kind of the top billing? I think it depends who you are. It depends mm. yes. what you're gonna, what your biggest takeaway is gonna be from the play. For some people, it's gonna be the song and the pop and the in your face, fun <laughs> amazingness of yeah. the show. And for some people, it will be the stories, their yeah. individual stories, what they went through and their journeys, and how they overcame by the end of the the show but you'll have to see how that happens yeah. <laughs> well kudos to you i'd like to thank you both for joining us this afternoon oh, thank it's you it's been uh, my pleasure to have you thank sit you. down we're excited to be here yeah. very yeah. excited yeah. six the musical plays in the Shakhtar theater from august 12th to september 10th tickets are on sale now citadeltheater.com uh, an astute pleasure to have both jazz and maggie in the studio with me this afternoon on thoroughfare once again i'd like to thank them Let's turn it over to Sam Beam, a.k.a. Iron and Mine. This is-